Hi Naptime friends, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing some resin art and I'm going to show you a cool way to add depth to your piece with just clear resin. So today we're going to be working with mostly the res products. I have their Glitz and Glam Powder Pigment in Milky Way, the Epoxy Paste in Luscious Plum, uh, the Angel White of course, my all time favorite white, and the Appetite Blue. Check out this blue, it's so pretty. And I'm also going to be using some vase filler. I picked this up off Amazon. It's a pretty nice sized jug and it was about $11. I'll link it down below if you want to check that out. And the last pigment I'm using is the Artisan Mica Powder in Silver. I wanted to show you guys how pretty this luscious plum is when it's all mixed up. It is just like a really nice deep purple. It's gorgeous. And today I use my Promarine Tabletop Epoxy. I mix that up for three minutes off camera. If you want to see a tutorial on how to mix up your resin and your pigments, um, if you're new to resin, be sure to check that out. I will link that down below. I have a playlist with a few videos, um, so be sure to check that out. So as you could see uh, in frame, I had a uh, piece with some holographic vinyl on there. And that piece was a straight up disaster. So I had quite a bit of resin left over and some runoff. So I'm going to use it on this final record here. So this is the Milky Way by Larez. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, shimmery, um, kind of like a color shifting pigment. It's got a green undertone and it's really, really lovely. So I'm just taking my finger and scooping the runoff uh, up from the table and putting it on my vinyl record here. And now I'm going to go in with my the rest of my resin and just kind of put it all over the vinyl record. Um, there's no real, you know, method when you're adding depth. Um, you'll see here when I get into it. But basically you just put all your colors on there and blend them together. And when you drop your clear resin on, it's going to create a ton of depth. So I put down my Luscious Plum and then the Artisan Mica Powder in Silver and I had a little bit more of that Milky Way I was adding here and my Appetite Blue along with my Angel White. So now I'm just going to go in with my finger and blend this all out. And to prep my vinyl record I took it outside on a nice day and I used a 3M sticker label covered the hole on both sides and then sprayed it with two coats of spray paint and primer in one. And if you guys are going to be using spray paint and primer to prime your substrates, make sure you don't use gloss. You want it to be matte or satin. Uh, if you use gloss, you can get pits in your resin. So now I have all my colors blended nicely. What I'm going to do is just take some clear resin, just plain clear, and drop little circles all over my piece here. See how when I drop the clear down, it kind of just pushes what's on top to the side and brings up what's underneath, if that makes sense. It's a really, really fun technique. You guys should definitely try this um, if you like to do resin. It's a lot of fun, and if you're wanting to do smaller circles, you could take your tongue depressor and just kind of dip it in the clear and then drop it on that way. Um, I was trying to cover up this whole piece, so <laughs> I like to do that. I like to make sure the whole thing's covered. And shout out to uh, Resin Head Abstract Art. Um, if you guys are on Instagram, be sure to follow him. I will link it down below. I saw him do this technique on Instagram, and it turned out really awesome, so I thought, hey, I gotta try that. So I'm just about done adding my little circles here and then I'm going to go in with that vase filler and just add it in a few spots to give it some nice texture. But first I'm going to go in with my heat gun on high heat and just pop any bubbles that might be hanging out on there. So now I'm going to go in with my base filler and just add a little bit in a few sections just to give it a little bit of texture so this will end up being like a mixed media type piece.
and this face filler is just a crushed mirror so it's nothing fancy um, but it is sharp so be careful if you guys do decide to pick it up off Amazon or any crushed mirror for that matter so here I'm just making sure the edges are nice and covered and uh, there's no missing spots on the edges I am going to put this away and I'll see you guys when it's dry in 24 hours here it is all nice and dry give you a little bit of a close-up see how the colors are coming up from underneath how much depth adding that clear created it's a lot of fun it's a really fun technique um, if I was gonna do this technique again I wouldn't have blended my base layer as much um, just because I feel like you I would have had more color popping up through the clear but it was my first time trying this so you know you live and learn here I'm gonna go in with my Triton paint pens these are just acrylic paint pens and they're extra fine tipped they're really really awesome um, you can get them on Amazon I will link them down below before you use them you got to give them a good shake and then just kind of pump them a little bit on a piece of paper or even you know paper towel woodwork too and I'm just gonna go in and outline all my areas of crushed glass here or vase filler I didn't think one line was enough so I'm gonna go in and just outline the line that I just made and do that all around each of the uh, crushed mirror sections I like the way it looks a lot better with two lines instead of one These pens are really nice and easy to use. I really like them a lot. They draw on the resin really nicely and um, sometimes if you know you're noticing that it's not working as good just take it to the side and give it a few more pumps um, because there is paint, it is paint inside of there so you got to bring the paint down to the tip. So off camera you know I was um, pumping it a few times periodically just to make sure that there was paint down at the tip of the pen and you can you know draw really long lines with this see it's perfect and your lines don't have to be perfect I mean it's um kind of like a geode so geodes don't have perfect lines if they're you know different thicknesses on there Now I'm all done with my white lines, so I'm going to go in and do my silver. And on these, what I like to do is basically start out with a little wishbone, that's what I like to call it, and then look at the piece and see what I want to do from there. See, it kind of looks like a big wishbone. I wanted my silver lines to be thicker, so basically what I'm going to do is just outline everything and then color it in with the silver. And then I'll have a nice thick line and then down here in the on the kind of bottom right side I wanted to do a V shape and then outline that and I will color that in as well and with the silver paint pen uh, same thing you know shake it up before you use it give it a couple pumps and then you'll be ready to go ready to use so now I'm going to start coloring in my lines here now that I have basically everything mapped out and these work really nice for that too you could um, also use paint and a paintbrush but I feel like I can't be as precise with a paintbrush and paint as I can with a paint pen do you guys feel that way too? let me know down in the comments so I'm just going to color all of this in and I'm going to outline it with white as well and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all done. 
And here it is. I went ahead and uh, outlined all the silver lines with white, with the Triton white paint pen, just to kind of make them pop a little bit more. And then I added another little wishbone off to the right there. You can see I did that off camera. I didn't want to bore you guys and have you just watch me color those in because vi this video is getting kind of long. But check it out. You see that sparkle? That is from the Lares Glitz and Glam Milky Way pigment. It's so pretty. And you can see the colors popping up through where I drop those clear dots down. What do you guys think about this one? Let me know down in the comments. I need to do a flood coat on it just to seal in um, the paint pen lines that I made. And I was thinking I could do a line of silver glitter. Um, kind of just by where I drew the lines, but um, I don't know if I should do glitter, more glitter. What do you guys think? If I, should I add glitter lines over where I put the paint pen lines? Let me know down in the comments. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Thank you so much for watching this video, and if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys on Friday for another video. Bye!